can I make a uh, can I give you a, a little compliment about your home? Sure. I was in your uh, I was in your living room earlier, and you had uh, you had uh, YouTube up on your TV, and I was thinking like, oh, that looks like a very pleasant little space to just kind of like sit down and watch YouTube videos on. I never watch YouTube videos on my TV. I always watch them on my phone or my computer. Mm. You actually have a little setup that kind of makes it feel like this seems like a cozy little evening. Sit down on this couch and watch YouTube videos on your TV. Why don't I ever do that? And then I was like, oh, right, because there's fucking... The, the major difference between your living room and my living room is that your living room is not just covered in piles of garbage. <laughs> Of just stacks and stacks of takeout bags, just like towering on the side of the couch I don't sit on. I think yeah, just the primary like my couch. There's a tiny little space for me to put my butt, and then the rest of it is just a tower of bags. Just primary a fucking... difference between our uh, uh, the, uh, our domiciles, right? Is that is that mine is habitable? Right? Is that is that mine is incredibly unpleasant to exist within? Yours because of stuff that i could easily deal with you abuse your home i obsess over mine right my i was thinking this i don't have a a, a home per se i have an <laughs> i have an enclosure <laughs> i have a little space where they kind of let me just kind of just kind of run around <laughs> just like <laughs> And whoever is supposed to come in and like clean up my little shit pellets is just uh -huh. they just haven't showed up in a like a while. I love that you're a my rat cage in this needs metaphor. to be cleaned so badly. I love that in this simile you are a rat. Yeah, I need it's a fantastic. I need a huge man to just open up my wall mm -hmm. and just like kind of just how does it just kind of just like zhuzh all that stuff out. root around in the bedding and right get all the get all the trash out yeah. and um and give you a yogurt drop. Oh, I would love that. They look good. The uh, they I, they the look like you could have them for humans. Yeah. I think they make them for humans, I basically. I think that those are for humans. I mean, what they're, they're covered in yogurt. What's the thing in the middle? Just some kind of weird little fruit oh, it's snack all thing? Yogurt. It's all yogurt it's all the yogurt. way down? It's all... you could, you could, we could be snacking on those things right now. I could, to I could totally eat that. You could totally eat that. But like, I like hold a rat and then like reach my hand into the That's bag. True. And they then... probably are kind of covered in rat oh, stuff. Oh, they're yeah. covered in rat stuff. Yeah. Last night... I was cooking dinner with American football icon Brett Favre. Nice. And I had just finished handling a rat. Mm. And then I just went ahead and just grabbed a fistful of mu uh, mushrooms and nice. threw them in the pan. I went, nice. you know what? I don't think I washed my hands between hey, rat like, and mushroom. You're, you're cooking them. And, you're heating up those mushrooms. Yeah, that's what, that's what we basically d yeah. agreed on is that whatever. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I've ca That's kind of my sort of mentality, too. Mm. Is that... <laughs> uh, for like for like four days, there was a horrible stench in my house, <laughs> and it took three days for me to be like, "It's I have to this. I will have to deal with this eventually. Yeah, at some point, I'm gonna have to make the horrible stench go away. See, I can sit in the horrible stench for like two days and be like, in two days, I'm gonna do something about this. See, the thing is, I don't think you realize that I am also very capable of getting to the same depths. Right. It's just that when you get here. <laughs> Right. I've completed the cycle it's right. since the I, last time. It's because I come to your house once a week. Right. So you have a reason to clean your house. Exactly. No if one came, comes to my house. If I came to your house once a week, it I might think be a little cleaner. Clean it. it might be a little bit cleaner, yeah. Maybe as time went on, each visit. I, I would, would probably be a bit... get a little bit more relaxed as time went on. Yeah. But, but I still like by now it would probably be still be cleaner than it is currently, which is bad. Also also I I, I have a housekeeper that I hire every That's, once in a while. My parents offered to do that for me and I flatly denied them. Because the idea of 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 having someone clean my house for whatever reason is violating it's i ah, no i yeah. can't do it no i know no, you can't go this is it's mine i clean my house before my housekeepers get here that's that's exactly the problem right yeah <laughs> it's like if i get a housekeeper i'm committing to cleaning my house every week yeah. what the fuck are we even doing <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> And my house isn't even I have a small apartment like if I was cleaning it for a house like a house cleaning person there would be nothing left for them to do by the time I was done I just get rid of like the particularly unsightful unsight unsightly and intimate stuff I mean most of what I need to do is just like clean out like the garbage and dishes from my living room and wash my sink which are both things that I wouldn't feel comfortable asking a house a housekeeper to do 
Right. You know what I mean? I'm okay with them washing the sink. I'm okay with them sweeping and mopping. Like doing and dishes vacuuming. and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, the dishes I don't like them doing. Yeah, no. Like, it's mostly I have to do my dishes. Sometimes they want to do my bedding, and I'm just like, Yeah, oh. no, they are not allowed in my room under any circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot. That's the, they know they just can't come in there. It's not for them. I, I, um, I have a, I'm, I'm in a weird headspace. Yeah. I think I had too much cheese. Okay. As you know, I switched to pescatarianism. It's true. Um, uh, I, I've been having health issues that I've been trying to work with. Luckily, the x-rays came back and they were like, your lungs, you could eat off of them. <laughs> so I'm honestly, like, you should start smoking again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, apparently like, they're in great shape. You specifically would be fine. <laughs> I, that's basically what they said. <laughs> um it almost felt <laughs> passive aggressive. Their yeah. letter. It almost felt like. Uh, you said, yeah, you told yeah, me that. It, 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 it like felt like kind of like invalidating. Right. Just the way that it was laid out, as if to say, like this person totally wasted our goddamn time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, but like I was having like weird symptoms. It, that, well, and also to be fair, you did walk into your doctor, and your doctor was like, "Your finger is weird. Your heart is dying." That's basically so, yeah. That's true. Yeah, but then so I this found wasn't out, all in your head. Oh, but did I not tell you about what happened with the doctor? No, you didn't know. Oh, oh, I should tell you what happened okay. with the doctor. What happened with the doctor? See, I got the doctor from Zoc Doc because I have trouble finding doctors. Yeah, and I want a doctor as soon as possible when okay. I need a doctor, right? Yeah, right. And so I just picked the person who was available the soonest because I figured oh, they yeah. all went to medical school. No, I've also been burned like that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It wasn't until after I was like, you know, getting ready to do like a follow up and looking for his number online that I saw just how piss poor his reviews were, um, <laughs> and uh, also the the articles <laughs> the articles about his one point eight million dollar insurance fraud uh, lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good! That's so good. You know what he was doing? What, is, what was he doing? He was prescribing unnecessary procedures and things uh, in order to get insurance money. Oh, I fucking knew it! As soon as you said, as soon as you said, like he, he said, because you told me, he said, told me, you told me, he took one look at your finger and was like, "We need to fucking get you prepped." It, it, like it was like we need to put he, a thing on your chest. We need to like. He said that he and saw th clubbing in my finger. And then you showed me your finger, and it was quite frankly the most normal finger I've ever mm, seen. No, the finger does look a little weird. No, it doesn't. It looks <laughs> a little weird. Now you're crazy. Yeah, if you look up clubbing online, it looks a little club. I don't think it looked. That's it, it's it, a normal finger but if he, i've ever seen one but the thing is like even, and as soon as you said that to me i was like i look i'm not a doctor so i'm not gonna but i don't know about this fucking guy well the thing is that even if even if it's like there's also like my hands have been like turning weird colors and doing some crazy shit i don't know i'm just like i'm still like a little short on breath right and I've still got this heart monitor on my chest, and I'm going to wear it for as long as I'm supposed to, just to be fucking sure. Yeah. Because I have been diagnosed with an arrhythmia in the past. Mm. And so, like, I'm just, like, checking all the boxes. But I'm supposed to get up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning to go to a pulmonologist in a couple days, and I might not do it. Yeah, I mean, they said you were fine. I mean, the x-rays said I was fine. The pulmonologist hasn't seen the x-rays. Only the radiologist has. And the pulmonologist might be like, uh, these, this report from the x-ray... Pro not entirely accurate because uh, X, Y, Z, you're dying, you know? Right. Okay. And like, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be a hypochondriac. I don't want to be one of those people who bounces from doctor to doctor, yada, yada, yada. But I also don't want to die. I For me, it's like, you know, anytime I start to feel really unhealthy. Yeah. I, I I'll, Then I'll, I'll start like going for like walks and shit. Yeah. And like really start like watching what I eat. Uh -huh. And I'll get like really aggressive about it. Because in my mind, I'm like, it's happened. I have diabetes. It's right. like, I, it was the, the, the hourglass has finally run out and it, the inevitable has happened. <laughs> I can't eat sugar no more. No more chocolate for Chris. Right. And then I go to the doctor and he's like, no, you don't have diabetes. And I'm like, it's cheeseburger time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's fucking. <laughs> I've had, I've just... had fucking diabetes scares myself. Yeah. <laughs> and with my relationship with food, it's kind of like when I find out again that I don't have diabetes, I'm just like, damn it. <laughs> now I have to now I have to eat better just, by just choice. cause yeah, it's like yeah no now I have to decide to eat better and it sucks cause like in a weird cause like it's always in the days leading up to the doctor's appointment where you're like eating better and like you're exercising a little bit like you feel better because you're eating better and yeah. you're exercising and you're still terrified. Right. You still think you're going to die, but like that you can, you're in a weird way. You're like, Oh, I'm making progress. Like in, I actually kind of hope I have diabetes. Cause like, 
my life is improving. And then you find out, and then it turns out there is no gun to your head. Right. And you're like, oh, but the gun was good. <laughs> like, Chris, if I was still waiting on the re- on the results of my x-rays, yeah. I would not have gotten what we got at Taco Bell today. <laughs> right. <laughs> because... For lunch, I had a salad. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to the x-ray technician. Uh-huh. They said, Will, you are wasted our time. You had COVID. You're an idiot, but thanks for the insurance money. <laughs> right. And then and then you came over. I complained to you about my life. Yeah. And then I asked for a grilled cheese steak uh, quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. Only hold with, the cheese. With, give with... me... Uh, hold, the, hold the steak. Give me potato Potatoes. instead. <laughs> right. Instead of, instead of like good healthy protein, just more starch and carbs. Look, look. <laughs> steak is, is, the worst pro, is the worst meat you could have. Really? Red, red meat, it's, it's like the highest in cholesterol. That's, it's not that's what all the buff dudes on Instagram... Uh, that's the opposite of what they would. Oh, tell they're you. buff, but they're gonna have heart disease in their fifties. Wow, well, but they're gonna look. To, they're gonna look great doing it. And li- leave a pretty corpse. <laughs> that's you know. That's what they got to do. Uh, the fucking liver king is gonna be dead any day now. No, they're gonna they're gonna get fat as shit. They always do. They tend to. Yeah, they they they, they hit forty and it gets a little bit too hard and then they just explode. You know, because well, that's what happens, right? Because like you know, people always talk about how your metabolism slows down in your thirties, but apparently that's actually bunk science. Yeah, it's that people change. Right. It's that people like have different values and life experiences and responsibilities and stuff in their 30s. Yeah, yeah, because you're not like this like 20-year-old who's just like, I need to have abs so I can fuck all the time. Right. Now you're <laughs> a 30-year-old with like a 9-to-5 job. Yeah. And maybe some bad joints. Right. <laughs> and uh, a, a son. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah. so, like, I'm not going to the gym. I got yeah. a son. Who the fuck am I trying to impress at My this point? My son? <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I actually I feel like there's like a certain yeah. cl- uh, honestly a respectable class of dad who's like I'm to gonna s- get you know jacked what? for my boy. You're right. I have <laughs> they to say, love that. It's if kind I of were a great to have energy. a son, I'd want to be jacked first. Yeah, you want to be jacked for. I him. want him to believe that he himself can also be jacked if right. he wants to. <laughs> he like, set a good just, example. Just in case, just in case he likes football. Just so you, just, you know, right? There's and, always every time you fucking get one of those things, it's just like there's a lottery and, and they might be a jock, and, and you so, want to be prepared, right? And also. So when he's a teenager and he gets all ornery, he knows who's in fucking charge. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know? He yeah. knows I could fucking take him. Right. You may be young, but look at these fucking pecs. Uh, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, you, you want the kind of body where you can, like, if your son gets a little bit too mouthy, you can stand up and be, be like, it's the day of the day, Brandon. <laughs> Is this it? You're going to finally take a shot at your old man, huh? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> get back to mowing the lawn. Yeah. Um... I think that you that's need that kind of body. I think you do. You need a, a sun scaring body. <laughs> right. You know? You need the kind of body that scares teenagers. Yeah, dude. That's what you want. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Life in the World to Come. <laughs> Uh, I'm Will Wood. And I'm Chris Dunn. This is a podcast where we answer your uh, questions about surviving the apocalypse. The theme of this episode is getting fucking fit and jacked and it, healthy for your boy. It, it, for health. your son. For your beautiful son. You gotta protect him. You That's gotta get, right. We're a, we're a fitness and we're a lifestyle fitness podcast. Now. I love that. We're all about, we're all about, like, this podcast is about getting your macros in order. Fuck yeah, dude. This podcast is about uh, fucking uh, uh, getting your sleep schedule tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's about, uh, it's about uh, 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 neotropics. Yeah. Alpha brain. It's about, um, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, an exercise program that, like, people do in classes but the only thing that came into my to mind was Lamaz, and that's for pregnant ladies. I, so you know, it's about that too. You know, that's and, and you know that's what a lot of people would tell you is that it's why. for pregnant ladies. But actually, if you do it right, it can also be for jacked dudes. <laughs> I don't know why yoga didn't enter my head for even a second. <laughs> yeah, you immediately my went brain, to pregnant yoga. My brain it's never like, said yoga. Or Tai Chi, for you, or like, some martial art. For you, yoga was filed underneath pregnant yoga. <laughs> pregnant <laughs> yoga is the normal yoga. <laughs> and then, well, there's this weird offshoot that you can do if you're not pregnant. Well, see, the thing is, Chris, that I have some uh, news for everyone. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh. We're expecting. 
That's right, everyone. Chris and I are going to have a baby. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Chris, Chris is pregnant. I'm just finding <laughs> You're out. You're pregnant? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was the pregnant one here. <laughs> Will stole my piss in the night. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Your piss? Did no one pour oh, pregnancy test. test. Right, right, yeah, right, for the okay. pregnancy test. Okay, so I was confused. <laughs> I wasn't he fucking sure. stole it right as I was pissing out of the toilet using an incredible master of disguise level of camouflage. Like yeah. fucking like fucking Dana Carvey and master of disguise just blending into the wall with a little cup over the toilet. I painted my <laughs> entire I mean. body to look like the edge of the toilet seat and also the corner where his floor <laughs> yes. meets his wall. Yes, exactly. Um, That's exactly what I was imagining. Yes. And uh and and then I stole his piss. Stole me. It was. A... I lost track of who was pregnant. And so when you said <laughs> that I stole your piss, I was like, Chris, it's semen that is used for insemination, not you know, piss. Well, not not at, not after my surgery, <laughs> not after the special surgery I got. We switched again. Now now you're pregnant. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> where they fused got, your yeah, urethra and urethra. Uh, yeah, just yeah. so like my 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 cum. This is a lot of people don't know this about me, but my cum was too strong. Right. And by that I don't mean like like potent. I just meant like like hard. It was like it was like, it was like thick and viscous. It's like a marshmallow kind of coming out. <laughs> so like you need to dilute it a bunch, and so they just kind of kind of put the put both hoses together. So it's just kind of one hose. Well, I mean, so it really in, in the length of the dick, it is already right. one hose. Yeah, they went deeper in. Right, exactly. I just want to make sure that everybody listening same knows spout. we understand. The, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, or something. Chris turned went from same spout to uh, s- same watering can. Right, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, yes, when he comes. It's it's like a marshmallow. It's like it's a marshmallow. Like, well, it was after before, it does, the, before it goes, the procedure. Like, it goes like this. It's like, yeah. That's the sound it makes. Yeah. No. Now now after the procedure, it's very normal. It's like a fire hydrant. That's normal. It's like tons of volume, <laughs> <laughs> and it's mostly piss. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like 98% piss. Nice. Dude. There's a little bit of cum in there, but just a little. You know? <laughs> just a taste. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Get here. I don't know. Get here. <laughs> Guys, we're 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 like we're doing like a joint custody of the fetus thing. <laughs> yeah, we're both we're, we we <laughs> Every, every, can lesbians do that? I don't know. <laughs> they should every, advance science so that they can. Every every Sunday night, we take a trip down to the hospital, and they cut me open, uh-huh. and then they cut Will open, and they just kind of switch it. I really and we do, do that once a week. I really do. The scars feel like... do not have time to heal, and which I'm, makes it very easy to do. You just kind of snip. My stitches just... are are really really itchy right I'm now. I'm bleeding through my shirt as we speak. Oh yeah, you are. Look at that. But we're so close. We're cl- closer than we've ever been. It's really beautiful. <laughs> it's really. It's really it's really brought us together and once again and i said this and i feel like not enough attention was paid to it i didn't i, I feel like it has to be said that i really hope that they advance the science for lesbians yeah so that lesbians can have joint custody of the fetus where right. they take turns with it yeah let's answer some questions <laughs> yeah dude let's get right into it all right let's get right into let's it gotta, question so, okay, I okay. Get some energy going. i'm just gonna do a little jazzercise whatever that is yeah, <laughs> we've been using the term jazzercise for a long time, but I don't think you've been doing jazzercise. I have no idea what jazzercise. You've just been doing a little boogie kind of thing. I think jazzercise is very involved. Well, I would assume. Well, I don't feel like doing that right now. You want to? You want like, Instead of answering questions, let's just like watch videos of jazzercise. You know, see if... it feels on brand at this point. But I don't think we should. I think we, we we've don't... been going for so long, we haven't gotten. The questions and I feel yet. like we haven't been answering a lot of questions recently. Yeah, no, it's the last couple of episodes have all been great episodes, in my opinion. Uh-huh. But have, they've been a little. They've been a little chaotic. So uh, let's right, let's focus. Let's let's focus. Let's focus. Let's. We're gonna. This one's gonna be serious. I'm going to focus and, and I'm going to yes and so hard. Okay. I'm going to improvise so hard. Whatever I think is going to, whatever immediately, co- whatever comes to the, to the fucking right. forefront of my brain, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with immediately. If it doesn't have anything to do with what you just heard, who fucking cares? That's, that's, it doesn't matter. It's, I'm, I'm, whatever pops into my mind, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down that we route. We just need to create like two hours of noise that yep. I can edit down to one hour of noise. Exactly. All right. Let's Here we do go. It. Okay. All right. Dearest Rocket and Groot, I have a splinter embedded in the palm of my hand and I cannot get it out. I'm worried that it will pierce my bloodstream. What's going to happen to the plant in my body in the world to come? Oh boy. Oh no. All right. Here's what you need to do. Okay. All right. You need to, you, you need to find yourself a sucker. Oh. Somebody to suck on your finger. You need a sucker to suck this thing out. You need a pro sucker. You need a pro. Su- you need. You need a. You need a. You need a professional sucker. 
who is also very gullible. Right. Right. Well, the thing is, like, you don't. The thing is, like, it's. I'm assuming that this thing is deeply embedded in your thumb. It would have to be yeah. so deep that it's it's functionally invisible, but you can feel it every time you move your finger. Uh -huh. So you just have to like pay a guy like a thousand dollars to just be like suck on my finger, and he's going to be like for sex, and you're going to be like sure. Hmm. Um, but he's gonna get a splinter in his tongue. You need. He's not, he's not even. He's the fucking idiot. That dumb piece of shit. <laughs> he thought you were horny. You weren't. Listen, you just wanted to get this out of your hand. And you might be thinking to yourself, "How do you find a professional sucker? What even is that? Is that even a thing?" And then you might think, like, "Oh, I know. He's gonna make a joke about like porn or something." Get yeah, a professional sucker, like a prostitute. Right. No, no. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about flipping through the yellow pages, baby. <laughs> this might be before your time, but they're out there, man. Right. Pro Suckers <laughs> LLC is the one down the street from my place. You know, the interesting thing about professionalism is that the second you give somebody money to do it, mm -hmm. they're a pro. Right. <laughs> so Anything like, you can think of is true so in this like, fast and wild world. Just get out there on the street with a big wad of cash. Start pounding <laughs> the pavement, baby. So just start like fucking chucking it at people. You be like, want to suck on my fucking bingies? <laughs> want to put my fucking fingers in your mouth? Here's ten grand. Yeah, sure. you want to fucking get all get a lot of money together for this? Yeah, most pro suckers went out of business after the advent of the vacuum cleaner, but they're still out there. <laughs> they're still out there, and you might find one, or you might find one's got the same power. You know, who's got the same suckable? Yeah, exactly. The kind of like that that un, untapped sucking potential, right? You know, like you're like you're 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 <laughs> you gotta <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find somebody with a big chest, right? And a and a lot of cheekbone. There's like you're just you're you're out you're you know you're out on a walk in the big city where mm -hmm. you live. Mm -hmm. You're a, a, you're an incredibly powerful producer. You have you've 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 got your fingers in so many pies. You're so connected. Mm -hmm. And you walk by a basketball court, and there's some there's some young men playing playing hoops and and and, and there's one guy he shoots and fucking ricochets off the backboard and a guy just he fucking purses his lips and just sucks it right into his mouth and it sticks perfectly and you see it's like oh my god i've never seen such potential in my life mm. and you fucking you take him and you fucking and you fucking mold him that's what you, you do. fucking turn that boy into a star haven't you ever seen like mike <laughs> yes exactly i'm pretty sure that's what happens in it right uh well there's also a magic shoes element is there really? Yeah. The oh. the premise of Like Mike is that a little orphan boy gets... I thought he was just like an incredible basketball player. No, no, no. Oh. He's, has no, so uh, he's he has not... no particular talent at so all. So he's not Like Mike whatsoever. No, he just has magic shoes. Yeah, I think he has, he, has, he has shoes that might have been Michael... I forget. They might have been Michael Jordan's shoes at one point. Okay. Uh, and they get thrown up on a telephone wire and they get struck by lightning. <laughs> okay. You know? How do you Bad remember, premise. How I, do you remember I, Mike I don't Mike. know. It's all in there, though. It's, it's so somehow locked in. I feel like I've seen Like Mike more than once. What? <laughs> so it's just, I don't know. I think I had, you know what it was? I had a, like, I had a phase as a, as a, as a child where I really, really tried to like sports. Because uh, I think what happened. Like, all okay. of my friends were like, they... You know, they like sports enough, and I was just trying to be involved. See, and I, I really tricked myself into thinking I liked it for a little bit. I rejected it outright right at the start. Well, the thing about Like Mike is that, like, yeah, it's about sports, but it's also about a little boy who gets magic powers. Oh, and you and love so, that like, shit. And I love that shit. So, right. like, you know, you can – there there was, there was crossover, and I right. could enjoy it. Right. Uh, but, yeah, no, he doesn't – he's not, like, good at basketball. <laughs> like, he, just, <laughs> he just has magic shoes that – and he never takes off. And – which, by the way, they would not let you do in the NBA. Yeah. They're mm, like you have no. to wear a specific kind of shoes. There's like millions of dollars of co like contracts that go into what you're allowed to wear. Like and this kid's just going out wearing sense. like a ratty old pair of Nikes. Well, and I actually that was like I think that was like a uh, a plot point in the movie. Whereas like he had to like convince them to like let him come out in the shoes because he comes out without the shoes and he plays like an 11 year old boy. Right. And so they're like, and he's like, look, just trust me. Give me my magic shoes. Here's and then what he fucking dunks on Kobe and makes him look like a bitch. <laughs> I don't remember if Kobe's in that movie. He probably isn't. Well, um, here's what I say you do. Right. Um, get your, get yourself some, some magic. Yeah. Some it's mag kind of funny because like Mike, I think is a totally different movie than you thought it was. Get So I'm trying to figure out how it connects back to get a Get a magic... <laughs> <laughs> lollipop right okay okay and give it to somebody a magic lollipop that, that makes... was once sucked on by fucking 
Um, just f- fill in a porn star. Yeah, fill in a Every porn star. Every single one of you has your own porn star that you're thinking about right now. That one. I'm so proud <laughs> of, of my of my pure self for yeah, not you being able you, to name you, a porn star. <laughs> yeah, right. I probably could have, but I didn't try that hard. Don't look at me like I'm supposed to now. That's a weird vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tell, oh, you're not going to tell me who you beat yeah. off to? No, I'm good. I All don't right. think I'm going to. Coward. I think I'm going to leave it up in the air. No, that's that's fine. I, <laughs> I know some names. But yeah, no, see, it's a magic lollipop mm. that was that was sucked on by fucking, by fucking Stormy Daniels. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, the fucking Trump. <laughs> I was going to say Stormy <laughs> Daniels. <laughs> well, because she's the only, like, porn star who was, like, in the news. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like you can, like, it's like a magic, a magic lollipop that was once sucked on by Stormy Daniels gets thrown onto a power line and struck wait, by lightning. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> and then any time you fucking suck on this lollipop, you have incredible <laughs> sucking abilities, and that's good <laughs> for a reason. So you could suck a splinter out of, I, out of a yeah! finger. Yeah, we figured it out. Okay, so it seems like a lot. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find Stormy Daniels' grave <laughs> and see if there's any old lollipop. I made pro- it's the apocalypse. Oh right, right, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> right, so okay. you're gonna find Stormy Daniels' grave and just like see if there's some old fucking lollies or fucking lozenges <laughs> just kind of out around. Or and then you want to get that struck by lightning. Or yeah, you you go and you go and find her now. Right. Exactly. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Just go find for the future. Wait, but now we're going back to the bit that I said I was going to refuse to do. Right. Which is, I, I, I earlier on I said I'm not going to just like say like a porn star or something, and now we're here. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here. It was my fault. I took us there. Get us out of here, man. <laughs> like, listen, you want to you want to you want to dig through Stormy Daniels' trash, see if you can't find <laughs> some cough drops or something, <laughs> and then just kind of. <laughs> And then again, then you want to have that get struck by lightning. Yeah. And then just like find some fucking idiot. <laughs> some <laughs> dumb piece of shit who you can trick. And then you give them the lozen so that they have incredible singing. But this will get splinter right out of your little thumb. Or And then they have a splinter in their tongue and you run. You get out of there. And that's why you only give them, you don't give them the like Mike shoes because then he can catch up. Well, maybe you just, maybe you just. You just suck on the on the lozenge yourself, and now you have uh, magic sucking powers. Right, but he can still catch you. Who the 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 guy? No, don't go to Who a you guy. You tricked. I'm saying don't go to a guy. Just do it yourself. That's oh. If you've got the magic sucking stuff, I, you then know, you, you got can... a splinter in your tongue. That's the whole point. That's oh, why right, you need right. some rube. Right. You know. Right, and you need a fall guy. And what happened to the the idea of the <laughs> professional sucker? That's the Stormy Daniels. No, but we talked about there being professional suckers. Right, I guess we lost it. Um, I guess I guess we figured out that the way you become a professional sucker is by finding a magic lozenge that was once sucked on by Stormy Daniels <laughs> and was then struck by lightning. Okay. <laughs> you go through your old yellow pages and you look through the professional suckers section. Right. They're all a bunch of... They're, they're all fucking phonies. Right. They all just <laughs> dug through Stormy Daniels' trash, trash or something like it yeah. and they made a business out of it and they've all got a single Hall's cough <laughs> drop in a Secret drawer. <laughs> passing it around. Yeah. <laughs> They've just been passing that lozenge around like like le- lesbians in a fetus. And it doesn't even do them any good because they just end up with t- fucking splinters in their tongues. Right. This is how stupid these guys are. Well, that's why they're all out of business. I said <laughs> right, they mostly exactly. went out of business partially because vacuums a, were invented. It's, it's, it's a deranged business plan. What the fuck is a sucker? What does that do? He gets on all hands. He gets <laughs> on can, all fours. We thought of literally one application for this skill set. Yeah, he, gets, <laughs> like, he gets on all fours. Okay. This is why it's out of business. Right. It's one, because they're a bunch of hacks and phonies and okay. charlatans. And, and two, a lot of them died from sucking out splinters that killed them. Oh, that's a good point. And yeah. three, because it because they they died from the fact that the, the vacuum cleaners they the right, vacuum they cleaners starved. came out yeah exactly um, it was like it was like fucking horses in the automobile so to recap that just how, do all that stuff that, yeah <laughs> because because yeah no that's there was another part to the question was there yeah what was the other part to the something question? about like there's a reason why he wants that splinter oh, right because what's gonna happen to the plant right. Because the plant's gonna, it's yeah, it's gonna. Well, it's no. Gonna... Here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing, you idiot. Okay, <laughs> you fucked up again. 
Um, what a, what an incredible! You thought you were so smart, going through all this trouble, digging through Stormy Daniels' trash, <laughs> almost getting struck by lightning, uh-huh. just so that you could, just so that you could get this splinter sucked out of your out of your out of, out of your fucking out of your thumb. You wanted that splinter in there. That splinter is going to be a, a, your dearest and closest friend. That splinter only wants the best for you. Okay. This splinter and. You say okay, like there's more. It's kind of the end of the. It's it's just like this. <laughs> the, the splinter is going to be. Is it's going to have like thoughts and feelings, and it'll kind of like whisper to you through your bloodstream. Okay, but it's just nice stuff. So why do we bother telling them how to get rid of it? Well, well, that's well because it's inevitable. This is we're not telling them to do that. That's just what they're going to end up doing. Would they have done it if we haven't told them? Well, you know, time is time beautiful. It sucks in that way. like that. It will get. But that's the thing is that there's nothing that we could have done. Right. They were always going to ask. We were always going to answer. So wh- whatever caused what is, it's not worth talking. That's about. what I told that homeless gonna, guy I kicked. You're going to waste all of this fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said all the homeless. Uh, what? I don't know what that means. Wait, what? I don't know. Wait, what, um, wait, wait, what did you say? I don't know. What? That's what I said. All the homeless. That's what what did I that said? Mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, fuck you. I, I, what was I? What was I saying before that? I was making a very funny <laughs> bit about explaining uh, explaining my assault of a homeless <laughs> man uh, through determinism, and then you said all the homeless. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm just running an algorithm here. Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? So like, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna whisper thoughts. And it's gonna. That's too. the thing. Is like, you know, it's 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 a shame because it, you you'll you'll never know this, but like, God, what you missed out on. Right. Such a pure and simple and beautiful friendship. Is there nothing he can do? Can't he just decide not to get the go through all that trouble now? I no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose some circumstance will arise that makes it so that it's his only option. Yeah, no, the fucking bomb drops. His brain goes all, all gooey. Okay, he forgets all this stuff we said. Right. He's gonna he, the the bomb's gonna stop. His brain's gonna go all gooey, and he's gonna be God. I know that they said to do something involving Stormy Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> your brain's gonna go all gooey and you're just gonna be like horny and and want to suck on something <laughs> right exactly and you're gonna be like yeah but i'm i don't think i want to suck a dick i think i just want to see my favorite porn star and have a lollipop <laughs> right and it all just kind of naturally snowballs from right there yeah. yeah um so that's what is gonna happen that's to gonna ha- sorry i guess yeah i mean it's all, all you know what out of all of the fates we've described this one isn't that bad no, I guess not. It's like you know, you you uh, you did a weird thing and then missed out on a relationship. Yeah, and it didn't involve you getting like crushed by a rock or Which whatever. Is, hey, that's <laughs> it's like a lot of a lot of these end there. So yeah. I think you maybe count your blessings. I look into your future. I see no dragons. There's no dragons. Yeah. So you're you're not gonna get like burned alive. You're not yeah. gonna get like a, you're not gonna get eaten by mutants. You're gonna you're gonna be like oh fuck I could have had. I shouldn't. Have, I really could have had a nice time with that guy. Right, but, but you'll forget that, about that. You'll anyway. forget about him. Yeah, yeah. You won't even remember. You won't even know you missed out. You're only going to regret the decisions you're going to make for the next few years. Right, and then you're <laughs> going to stop. For, re- yeah, stop by the time you it. make all these decisions, you're not going to regret them. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Here okay. We go. I, think that's, I think. I think we kind of covered that. Yeah. Okay. Try Let's not to live with too too much regret. You know, yeah, that's that's what's, the moral what's in the, the future story. is in the future, and when right. that happens, it will be in the past. Exactly. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Dear Chris and Will, yeah, I happen to have a hot tub at my place of residence. When I stew in it for more than twenty minutes, I get a bad headache and sleep horribly. Mm. Will this still be an, a, pro- a problem in the world to come? It won't be if you get that diabetes under control. It, it won't be, and and I, you know, I I feel like you know. As a as a way of like kind of uh, getting all of your essential vitamins, mm-hmm. I feel like a nutrient bath is underrated. Yes, kind of like it's not a hot tub per se, mm-hmm. but just kind of spending most of your time in like a big tube. Yeah, like a big tube full of green goo. Yeah, that you just kind of like exist in as like kind of like a human vegetable uh-huh. until you are awakened. I'm assuming for labor. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're. 
I'm just, I'm picturing I'm seeing some kind of like situation in which uh, a man of some kind uh-huh. has, has kidnapped and captured you and thousands of others and you're all just kind of sitting down there in the right. goo in kind of sus- in stasis just right. kind of being fed and sustained by the goo and, and then every now and then to... he let, well every now and then he lets you out the goo uh-huh. to like uh, uh was, but what does this have to do with the, with like hot, the, headache, tub the, the hot tub and the guy's he was like gets like headaches when he's in the hot tub yeah i told him it's because he has diabetes oh is that a thing no i don't know i was just making it up oh, just saying because he had diabetes that's what i like that okay. <laughs> that's a good energy okay <laughs> i like where your head's all right but where are we but how is this getting us to the the i, I i'm all about <laughs> vats of green goo right so and, like well the idea is that like he's getting it's he- like he's some get, fucking he's getting well he's getting headaches because he's like he's getting in this hot hot tub and you know what the thing about a hot tub is there's no green nutrients in there that's a good point you, need, you gotta put more nutrients in your hot tub instead of putting all that sugar in it Right, which is exactly. why you have diabetes. It's just like what you're wanting to do is like you want to like sl- uh, peel and slice up a bunch of carrots, uh-huh. some celery, some a little, <laughs> some little bit of mise en place. <laughs> just gonna dump it in that hot tub. Yeah, and then you're gonna want to call me and Will over to your house. <laughs> 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 you're gonna, and you know, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, put, gonna put it, and it's gonna look like a big, a big lid, like the lid of a big pot, uh-huh. but it's not. It's a special device for keeping it perfectly warm and good it's, in there. It's, it's, I'm gonna uh, put it up, and it's gonna feel too hot for a little bit, for a little bit, for a little bit. But that's part of it. That's how you know it's working. Well, you know, when you first get into a hot tub, it's like, <laughs> right. ooh, ah, ooh, it's the same sort of principle. It's the same sort of thing. You're it gonna get dizzy. You're gonna, you're gonna feel dessert, a little weird. Your skin's gonna turn red and blister, and you're gonna pass out. Don't worry about that. It's, it's part of the process. It's totally fine. It's all part of the process <laughs> and it's gonna hurt because your skin's gonna be cracked and blistering uh-huh. and we're gonna be putting salt in the water <laughs> like salt and pepper and you're gonna be like, like the salt burns my skin we're gonna be it's like shut up pig. it's electrolytes right it's, it's, that's, right that's, that's we're gonna be like shut up pig it's electrolytes yeah exactly. Come and relax it's it's electrolytes pig, pig. <laughs> relax pig it's electrolytes <laughs> 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 Silence pig. <laughs> Silence pig. It's electrolytes. Um, <laughs> and we'll give you a nice apple to snack on. Right. Don't yeah. drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop the fucking <laughs> apple. Keep it in your mouth. Keep it in your mouth. You pig. Pig. You fucking pig. Suck on the apple, pig. <laughs> <laughs> And it's gonna clear your headaches right up. <laughs> you're gonna feel much better. Let me tell you, you're never gonna have to worry about another headache again. That's right. Me and Will are gonna make sure of that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna help you out. <laughs> your headaches are gonna be least of your worries. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, uh, and so it's important that you get that diabetes under control, right? You know, because because uh, because uh, because don't worry because, about because it. I was, because as an adult man, my sweet tooth isn't nearly what it once was. I, and, and I don't even know what that has to do it's, with what I, you're I, talking I, about. I know, it's really but just I feel a kind the same of way. out of the off the dome kind of not yeah. sort of non sequitur. Yeah, but like I don't like my food too sweet I these just, days. So no. if you could not eat so much sugar, yeah, you know? I I, I kind of feel similarly. You know, it's a totally I just, random thing that I just said connected to nothing. I've been thinking about my health a lot, yeah. you know, and I, I and it's just it's just kind of kind of popped up, right? You know, that I was thinking about the diabetes. I don't know. I don't know if what you that could was about, like but... switch to like a diet of just like grass, grass, of just like fresh field grass, yeah, uh, you know, corn and grains, yeah, corn and grains, <laughs> kind um, of like. A... And you know, honestly, if you could just like take a little walk. Every day, you know, a in little a field. walk, but not too much. Okay, no, no not too much. <laughs> not too much. Don't build up too muscle. You, much you, muscle. If you, are there any farms nearby? <laughs> just like a, yeah, you just go for a stroll with some cows. That'll right. also help clear up your headaches. <laughs> yeah, you just eat some grass and grain, <laughs> and just stroll around with some cows for a little bit. Absolutely. It's good for your. It's good for your sinuses. It's it's incredible for your sinuses, you little pig. It's, it's so good. <laughs> 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 it, it, the fresh air, a little bit of exercise, you know, eating a, a, a diet that's like that's like got a, a nice heavy focus on carbohydrates, right? You know, and that'll that'll be really. Um, I, I think you'll find it's going to clear your headaches right up. Your your jaw is going to relax. You're going to feel way better. I know right. there's a lot of tension that you carry in like the upper half of your face and in the, you know, because sometimes people will carry their tension in like the muscles on their heads. Sometimes it's true. And actually, I found a, a really good way of dealing with that pressure mm-hmm. is that like is is if like I think and this is just one method that I sometimes use with my uh-huh. clients is that like you put a little fucking collar on them, right? Yeah. And then you have them fucking stick their face in the dirt and root around, root around for fucking truffles. Yeah. Like a fucking pig. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You make them fucking fucking snoot for truffles like a right. pig right 
and that'll that, do something that'll for your headache. Alleviate, I'm sure. That'll alleviate a lot of the tension headaches. Pig. Right? Yeah. Exactly. You it, pig. It's it's. <laughs> Um, and you know, what, and, and if that doesn't work, there's a brilliant new. It's it's an older science, but it's come back in favor with um, yeah. with some doctors, you know, especially ones who aren't so heavily rooted in so called traditional and right, Western yeah, medicine. Yeah. It's called trepanation. Okay, uh, you'd look it up, pig. Um, you know, <laughs> it, you look that up, and in you'll you'll find that that trepaning your skull will help alleviate some of the fluids inside it and right. let them out. And that's probably what's causing some of your uh, headaches and stuff too. You probably have too much fluid inside your skull pig. Um, so, you know, that might also help. Yeah. Um, don't take any aspirin. No. Don't take any Advil <laughs> or any aspirin. aspirin. Stop taking any medication you might be on. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's very important. It's not good for it's your not, it's meat. It's not good I mean, for your, your skin. Your, your, meat, your skin. I mean, your meat. I your, mean, your skin. Your, I mean, your, uh, your... You don't do it. Flesh. <laughs> pig. Your, don't do it. <laughs> the, <laughs> too, you know, too much ibuprofen is bad for the liver. Right. Um... You know what I've been craving recently? A nice pate. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. That does sound good. Yeah, it sounds nice pate. Some like liverwurst. Yeah, don't take don't 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 take any ibuprofen, pig. <laughs> I think we've milked this. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I literally I, had I the exact else. same thought. Yeah, I think we like, milked it. Um, we're gonna we, eat. We yeah. fucking, we, we're, we fucking milk this pig we're, for everything it's worth. We're gonna cook <laughs> you in a big <laughs> pot, uh, uh, Bugs Bunny, Bunny style. Big pot. Uh, yep. We're gonna <laughs> You're never going to see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> thing about the green goo uh, and stuff, don't worry about that. That's the fucked up thing about the bombs, is that we're telling you that we're going to do this, and you're not going to remember. Right. <laughs> you really have no idea. That's how fucking sick and fucked up we are. <laughs> this is all just a little game for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. All right, let's do another question. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, this person calls us uh, her favorite millennials, and that hurts. I don't know why it hurts, but it's just, it, I don't like the way it feels. I think feels. because the word to millennial. To be looked at from the outside in that way. You know was, what I mean? Yeah, well, sometimes I feel like the word millennial is used very derogatorily. Yeah. Um, I've I've been recently getting like uh, 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 some, some, some teasing remarks about uh, me being, uh, as as they say, so fucking millennial. Right. And my thought has always been, I'm 30. Right. The, yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's correct. Like, good. Congratulations. It, it, it's, you know... Is it's I don't you know, understand what the comment is. You know, and I feel like I feel like, and I feel like I've, I must have said this before on the podcast, but uh -huh. like, you know, if at any point you're looking at the generation above you and their mannerisms and be like, that's so fucking weird. What is that? Look at yourself. <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fuck. But, Fuck, fucking take a long hard look at yourself in the eyes and try to and try to imagine a world 10 years in the future where people are still earnestly using the word riz <laughs> like <laughs> it's like they're, they, they're they're not anyway our next question I, I just think it's i just think it's it's funny that like there's that that's like i you know i know they're just like they're just like joking around it's not like it like bothers me it's just it's it's so funny to me that it's just like what did you expect? Yeah. Did you expect <laughs> me to be cool? Right. You're 30. I'm, I'm a millennial. You're 30, man. You're yeah. all, you're on, you're get, we're getting close to 31. I don't even care it's coming about, around. I don't even care about millennials thinking I'm cool. Yeah. Cause I'm too old for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's, it's like you, it's like they're basically, they're throwing sticks at you, not knowing that you're an unkillable God <laughs> ascended from their plane. <laughs> Like, and and they'll they'll be here too someday. Past it. They'll be here too someday, sooner than they think, much sooner than they it's think. It's always it's sooner than so you. soon. It's, it's coming so, right you up. Have no idea. And you're gonna be you're so, like ten years. That's so long. That's fu the fucking crazy thing is that it's not. Yeah. It's like you think it's you think ten years is a long time because the last time ten years happened, you were ten years old. Yeah. It's fucking different now. Yeah. You have a you have an adult brain and time. They don't process time in the same way no they do not fa they process time in a frankly terrifying way and too fast i just turned 30 and i am almost 31 
Shit, oh my god, we are almost 31. Hey, we're, so, we're closer that came than out farther out of fucking away. Nowhere. <laughs> yeah, right? It just happened. I was just thinking to myself, nah, dude, it's that was only like a few months ago. <laughs> no, oh my god! Yeah, a few months ago, like six months ago. Did, like, more than that for me. More than that, yeah. Like eight months ago. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh my god, we got one quarter of a year left? Yeah, barely. And then, we're, and then we're 31. <sighs> oh! Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, 31. 31. 31. Sucks. Oh my god. 31 is so bad. Oh my. Oh my god. 31 I, it's is so, so crazy the amount of work that Zero is doing. Yeah. That Zero is doing so much work. That oh. Zero is a fucking saint, and it's we're gonna lose it so soon. <laughs> it's going Cause, away. Because that Zero, you that Zero says I used to be a nine. <laughs> that Zero <laughs> says, look at me, I was a nine, and then one says. That it's zero only up from here. <laughs> that zero is like, I'm a little baby. <laughs> That's what right. the zero is saying. And then the one I is just like, got here. And, and the weird thing is, like, from like 30, you go from like being a ba like like a baby adult to just like you don't even go from being a baby adult to an adult. You go from a baby adult to and then you stop existing. <laughs> like you don't you, you, like there isn't even a joke because you stop you don't matter. You understand? <laughs> you're nothing. Until like you're 35 and then people are like, "Huh." And then you turn 40 and then that and people feel sorry for you so then you exist again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh the the um This is terrible. I don't know if I feel that way. I don't <laughs> feel that way at all, but there is a terrible little guy in my head who is insists that it's that way. Oh yeah. No, there's like a part of me like it, don't think I've never Googled what age my favorite musicians put out their best record. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that sucks. Mostly? Oh, no. <laughs> like 26? Yeah, it's... Not, oh, no. Mostly mid to late 20s? Oh, I, Mostly mid to late 20s? This is some of the worst empathy pain I've ever felt. Chris, this almost... Is, uh, almost this, oh, no. Uh, oh, God, that hurts. Oh, God. Like it's, oh, God. I mean myself as my best work. <laughs> and I... <laughs> And like, like I'm just I'm like I <laughs> I like I was feeling that pain just through osmosis. Just imagine, <laughs> and it sucks. I never want to okay. go back there. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Andrew Bird was 31 when he did Mysterious Production of X. Okay. And nobody had heard of him until he did My Finest Work Yet, which was super recent. And he's like 50. Okay. So all right, all right. Know. So there's time. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time. You're a little boy. We're both little boys, and and, and recess is forever. <laughs> Our next question. I don't know what that meant. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, let's 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 do this. Let's. Do I feel like I never got around to making my uh, final point. What was your final point? Um, which was um. Uh, it's so fucking funny how I remember being twenty two, turning twenty two, and being like, "Oh my god, I'm twenty two." Yeah, no, every year. Every year since honestly like 18. Right. Like it's And and here's the thing is like 22-year-olds shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you <No one> cares. <laughs> you are gods right now and you don't even fucking know it. And you refuse to see it. <laughs> like right. <laughs> like it's not no you like I feel like you actually No, that's the fucked up thing about 22-year-olds uh -huh. that I cannot <laughs> forgive them for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is that they they know they they act like they don't know their gods. I know I remember. No, you do know. It's all a performance. <laughs> it's like it's like you're like, "Oh no, I'm so old. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, being an adult is so But deep down in your core, you're like, "I'm invincible." <laughs> you're like, you feel that. And and the thing is you don't even you don't know that you're a liar because right. you haven't lost that yet. Right. Like you, you that's still inside you and it's going to go away. And I remember being that age and hearing people say something like that hearing older people say shit like that and be like, yeah, that was your generation. That's what happened to you. Right. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. No, it's going to happen to you. It's, gonna happen. it's, it's all going like to happen Nothing changes. No, nothing ever changes. <laughs> all of like, no, no one is different from anybody else. No. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <Woo> <laughs> Yeah, well, what was I about to say? I don't know. Like, We've been recording for 90 minutes. We've answered, <laughs> we gotta, like, let's one answer and a half some questions. more questions. <laughs> we got to fucking cram some questions into this. Okay. Oh, God. Why am I hot? Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I haven't read the whole question, but we'll hope it's good. Hey, Chris and Will. My psychology class is working on the motivation, emotion, and personality unit. And our most recent assignment is to briefly analyze the personality of a celebrity of our choice. 
Oh wait, no. I, maybe this is a weird question. No, I, 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 wa- I want to hear what, what happens next. <laughs> I chose Will, even though he's not a real celebrity, is a hack and a fraud, etc. Uh, among other things, we're supposed to place our celebrity on the Maslow hierarchy, hierarchy of needs. What? what? How much you that need me? <laughs> Which got me thinking, how will the hierarchy of... this? Okay, this is a big lead up to a fairly simple question. How will the hierarchy of needs uh, change in the world to come? If no one has access to their safety needs, how will anyone self-actualize in the freaky cre- into the freaky creature of their dreams? Um, so, like, first of all, die. Um, <laughs> second of... Uh, no, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. That was... <laughs> um, so... So so uh, wait, I'm sorry. So there was a lot of like build up there, but the question was like the hierarchy of needs. How is that going to change the, in a post apocalyptic environment? The build up was so unnecessary. Yeah, there was a lot of unnecessary. It doesn't even up, make frankly. any sense. Look, we're not here to critique your writing, but I there was am, a lot of wasted space in uh, there. You could have gotten straight to the question. I just feel it's like too much context. I still don't even know what it means by putting somebody else on the hierarchy of, of needs. needs. Yeah, Do I don't know what that means at all. Buddy, I think you might have fucked up the assignment. Right. That's not <laughs> like, how the hierarchy of needs. You works. don't. I can't imagine that you need Will. I, Nothing. He's he's a great guy. He's a fucking <laughs> terrific guy. You don't need him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need me. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm anywhere on that hierarchy. Um, or are you saying like, like w- what? Or, 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 what? I mean, I think I think that ultimately what, was their question. What my needs are. I don't know. Well, that ultimately wasn't their question. It was just part of the lead right. up to the so, question. So like, what the fuck? Why did you include it? I don't know. <laughs> you know, we're not we're not friends. We're enemies now. I'm yelling at your phone. <laughs> Here you are. You're making eye contact with my phone, which is on the floor next we're, to me. We're enemies <laughs> now. He's looking at my phone. You're my phone. Uh, but how is the hierarchy of needs going to change? Let's get fucking serious about this. Well, you know, um, what are your needs right now? Right now, you need you need what do you need? You need food, water, uh, shelter. What are you going to need in the world to come? Gold. H- human meat. I mean, honestly, I feel like the gold can serve most of that purpose. Okay. Those purposes. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, you can use either you can use the gold to get human meat, mm-hmm. or you can just eat the gold, and that'll be maybe problematic at first. But if you do it for long enough, your body might acclimate, and then you'll be a guy who eats gold, and I that's pretty fucking sick Damn. in my personal. Yeah, opinion. I was gonna say, or you could use human meat to get gold. All right. Well, that's true. What do you need is all about what you have to give in order to get it. Yeah. Right? I think. (laughs) What did you say? No, that doesn't make any sense. (laughs) What you need is what you have to give in order to get it. Is that what you said? (laughs) (laughs) What you you need is all about about what you got. (laughs) Right. And I just farted loud. Did you hear that? That was a big one. Nice, dude. Another one's coming. I'm glad you already cracked the window. (laughs) What you need... It's all about what you have and what you're willing to give to get it. Exactly. So <laughs> like, that, does, that doesn't make any sense. And so it brings it back. You got to get gold. You guys got to get gold, dude. Sure. Yeah, don't sure me. I'm sorry. Motherfucker. You're right. I didn't have. How dare you? I'm sorry. No, how dare you? No, you're right. That was wrong of me. <laughs> um, You need gold. I don't know. Now I feel bad about it. Now I feel like it's maybe not a good bit. <laughs> Human meat wasn't better. <laughs> it's like you and I both just went, what's apocalypse I don't know. What are, okay, well, so like gold, human meat, what are we really getting at here? It's like, it's like, there's, there's, there's okay, so like you're going to have, right now we have the hierarchy of needs. I feel like we're just talking about food. No, let me get let me let me let me, let me finish this thought. Okay. So right now we have this hierarchy of needs. Mm-hmm. In the apocalypse, it's going to be more of like a nebulous cloud of give it to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. Where it's like it's less that like there's like okay, you need this before you can get this. You need this before you can get this. It's all everything's in the in the fucking air. Right. It's all crazy. People are fucking slitting each other's throats. It's just like what you the thing that you need is the thing in front of you that you can get that you want. Right. You understand? I think that's kind of what I was saying. Yeah, only I think like, it kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because, it's like, because all you have is need. Right. Exactly. You just need. And whatever you can get, that's going to be the thing that you focus on. You're yeah. not going to hierarchify it. Exactly. You know, do you not have food, shelter, or water? Too bad. It's like, exactly. Focus like, on self actualization instead. If you, if you need food, water, and shelter, mm-hmm. 
and you and you and you've gotten shelter, but you haven't gotten food. You're not going to pass up shelter because you haven't gotten food yet. You know right. what I mean? Like you need it's it's. You're going to get another shelter. You're going to get another shelter. You're get more shelter. You're just gonna keep getting if you can just build as many shelters as you can. And having ten shelters <laughs> is going to be like having shelter, food, and water. Right. You can eat some of, of those shelters. Maybe I don't know. Right. I'm just spitballing here. I'm improvising. But uh, the thing too. is, like, the more resources you have, the more opportunities you will you'll you'll find in front of you. Right. You know? Yes. You gotta exactly. you gotta create the kind of space in which food is likely to come. You've gotta kind of manifest food, I guess. <laughs> you know? Dear Bob and Larry, I am scared of the dark in the world to come. Well what will be some ways uh I will be able to combat the inky black that haunts me? Light yourself on fire. I mean sometimes sometimes the answer is simple. Pretty easy. Turn yourself into an eternal flame. To, uh, uh, the, 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 douse the, yourself in kerosene and light yourself on fire. You know, it sounds easy, right? Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Like, good, done and dusted. Right. Fucking question answered. Mm-hmm. Fucking wrong. Oh. You know, okay. because because the darkness is patient. Mm. The darkness can wait as long as it has to. And That's the second true. that that fire burns out, yeah. you know, that darkness is going to swallow you up and no one's ever going to see you again. So you're going to want to turn yourself into an eternal flame. Mm-hmm. You know, like one of those like uh, like fissures in the earth that like methane gas is just leaking out at all times. And so if you let it on fire, it'll just never go out. Uh-huh. There's a handful of them in the world. I think there's like nine eternal flames in the world. So it sounds like what, you, what they need to do is like fart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You saw He's a smart boy. He knows where I'm going he got with this. Fired. You can fucking start eating beans. And fucking get <laughs> <laughs> just fucking get all the beans you can. Yeah. And start eating them now right. and hold it in. This is important. <laughs> <laughs> Between now and the apocalypse, you don't fart once. <laughs> you, get, you got it. That's important shit. That's a, a valuable resource you're generating that you can't get rid of. <laughs> That's the last your entire natural life once you're done. And then and then and then that beautiful final moment, just as the as the, you're, you're you're sitting in the bombed out ruins of your home, as soon as the fallout cloud blots <laughs> out the sun, sun, you just light yourself on fire, and then just one continuous, just one. It's it's it, it doesn't even make a sound. Right. It's like it's just stay silent just like, but deadly. It's, it's, it's yes yes. The other good exactly thing is that. if you're on fire, right? Things that you touch also catch fire. It, that's how fire works. It's an excellent point. So like, make sure that you you touch a lot of dry things. <laughs> that's true. And stay near them. You know, go to the forest. It's not it's not going to get very dark in there once you're fire. It's just true. You know? Uh go go to go go to a dry forest. Go to a dry forest. It's not getting dark in the it's dry forest. It's not going dry forest. And I know what you're thinking is that if you're in a dry forest anyway, why couldn't you just use like that timber and make a fire? And like avoid a lighting yourself a flame and b holding in farts for like the better part of two decades, so that you could like uh, have and, and 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 to that I say, what are you a fucking coward? Right? What are you afraid of being uncomfortable? Also, fucking kids these days, seriously, are fucking so, so they're so infantilized and soft. Yeah, you know. It's like it's it's like you know you ask a kid to light themselves on fire and they're like I don't need to and I'm like pussy, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they're like there's no reason for me to do that I would die why would I do that and I was like you know they don't make men anymore. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's weird how like how much resemblance that bears to a to a Jordan Peterson lecture, like just in <laughs> it, just in spirit, <laughs> not content, but in spirit. <laughs> just, just like why do well like like what, what happened to the good old days when men suffered? You know, <laughs> when men suffered silently throughout the annals of history, men have lit themselves on fire <laughs> rather than wander through the darkness untethered to the light. And, you know, that's really interesting fact now, isn't it? Because you see young people these days, especially in universities, mm-hmm. not setting themselves on fire. When was the last time you witnessed, you saw a young person on fire? It, it just doesn't happen anymore. And it's, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a real problem. I'm worried. <laughs> oh, you look so happy. <laughs> <laughs> he just went to his happy place. <laughs> <laughs> his happy place is just Will like receding into the back of his brain and letting Jordan Peterson inhabit him. 
It's like that Will's like stomping around just yelling about masculinity. And like deep inside of his brain, you're just like snuggled under a little blanket. <laughs> you're so like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Um Oh fuck. Um, All right. But yeah, uh fucking that's that's really it. Is set yourself on self, fire. Set yourself ablaze. You, also, you fucking pansy. You know, campfires and bonfires can they can go out. They can go out. Eternal flames that emanate from your farty body. That's not. That's going not going to go anywhere. You know. You might be thinking, Will. What if I burn to death? Shut up. It's like pig. you're a fucking pig. <laughs> Shut up, pig. <laughs> Just light yourself listen, on fire. Listen, listen, me and Will are going to be right there to make sure you don't <laughs> burn to death. We're going to be right there. And th- we have a special technique to keep you from burning to death. Is yeah. when we put you on a big stick mm-hmm. and just kind of rotate you very yes. slowly. We, and, and, <laughs> and that'll keep you from burning to death. And that's why you got to start eating those beans now. Eat and you know what? Grains. Beans. Grains and grass, too. Grains and grass. Grains and grass. Um, Truff, uh, truffles. Yeah. Other things that will... That they'll they'll just make it so that the fire lasts longer. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. So you know? That the fire, or doesn't go... Which one was it? Do you want the fire to go out? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just, 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 just fucking wait for us to get... Just fucking wait for us to show up. Yeah. Just tie it to a stick. <laughs> <laughs> You pig. Fuck you. I don't have to, t- I don't have to just my. I don't have to fucking explain myself to a fucking pig. Yeah. <laughs> pig. Thanks everybody for listening to Life in the World to Come. This this has been um this has been uh, a, a pleasant evening. And um I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I want to thank you all for just 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 sticking through uh, through with us, you know, through all these through these hard times, the ups and the downs, the lefts and the rights, the lefts and the rights, the back and the forward and the forward and the back and the forward and back and the in and the out and the forward and back. Wait, I, I I forget <laughs> what my point was. I don't know, man. Okay. Um, I'm glad you pulled yourself out of that oh, because I, the way that you were talking, <laughs> just kind of like, well, well. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, uh, our, our intro, our, our intro and outro music is we are the hellhounds by the taxpayers. If Hell you'd like yeah. to send us a question, you could do so at life of the world to come at gmail.com or on our discord. Uh, if you'd like to buy some merch, you can do so at, uh, uh, uh life in the world to come dot big cartel.com. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash life in the world to come. And remember, stay weird, stay wacky <laughs> and keep on coming back to life in the world to come. Do 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 I don't know why that felt natural after there was something about the context just like it means jazz now. This will actually be pretty cool with the uh taxpayers fading up over it. Ow, ow yeah!